Hey gang, AV here, and welcome to my CGC collection, part 8. Um, as promised, these will be all new books. You haven't seen these before. These aren't in my original collection video. Um, I've picked these up over the last couple of months, and I got a huge, um, huge uh, portion of these actually came from uh, the local Comic Con, which I hit just this past weekend. Um, I know I kind of clobbered you guys in the month of May, which was pretty much comic book month on my channel. I posted like at least two or three comic related videos each week. And, you know, I don't want to overdo it, so I'm not sure when I'm going to post this, but hopefully you guys enjoy. Uh, first up, we have The Army of Darkness, Ashes to Ashes, number one. This is one of the variant covers. This is a 9.8. I actually didn't buy this or submit it myself. I got this in a Chinese auction with a bunch of other like autographed books. And uh, let's see. One thing I did regret do not doing in my uh, my original uh, revisited videos was uh, showing you the back of the books. So we'll be doing that this time. Alright, next up we've got Grim Fairy Tales, number 20, 28, graded 9.8. You've no doubt noticed the uh, post-it sign. <laughs> that is because this is the uh, nude variant. Although, to be honest, um, she's not actually nude, she's just wearing transparent underpants and uh, bra and whatnot. This was the uh, Fantastic Realms. Yep, Fantastic Realms variant. Alright, stick that off to the side there. I'll actually stand these up. Okay, next up you actually have seen this cover before, but not this particular book. New Avengers uh, number 31, sketch variant. This one came back at 9.6. The one you've seen before was uh, my 9.8 which was signed by Bendis now this was actually one of two books I had graded over the weekend the other one well, let me show you the back before I get into that nothing back there except for the uh, not for resale right down there in the bottom um, I kept the 9.6 I'll be putting this up for sale eventually when I get around to it but uh the 9.8 I actually traded while I was at the show for this Infi Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7 9.8 classic Perez cover I think it was a good trade on my part didn't have this book I had three copies of the other one what the hell That's a beautiful cover. I love that cover. Alright, let me stick that up there. Next up we've got Captain America number 600. Graded 9.4 unfortunately and I'll show you why in a minute. This is a virgin cover all black and white except for the uh, shield but what's really cool about this book is on the back you've got the color version
with the dynamic forces right there. Good, good stuff. And uh, if you look, like the the top two corners are a little, a little jacked up, which is why it came back a 9.4. But whatever. This book was awesome to have graded anyway, because I can display it both ways. Good, good stuff. And last but not least, Civil War number 3, Sketch Variant, came back 9.8. Michael Turner cover, of the Iron Spider-Man. Cap shields in the webs. great book and of course the back of that one nothing because it's a sketch beautiful book all right so let's do a final pan while I get out of the light here army of darkness ashes to ashes number one Grim, Ter Grim Fairy Tales number 26 or 28 I'm doing it again guys I still haven't gotten new glasses I apologize New Avengers number 31 sketch Crisis on Infinite Earths number 7 Cap 600, Dynamic Forces Variant, and Civil War number 3 Sketch. Okay guys, I have one other video to show you of uh, graded books I got while I was at the con. These are of all, of course, uh, the universal grade. The next video will be all my signature series stuff I got when I was there, so stay tuned for that, part 9. And uh, if you like this video, then check out my channel. If you like what you see there, then please subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.